Developing your technique is definitely one of the most important things you should do. Now, when it comes to playing the guitar, technique means a lot of things. It's basically a combination of elements and factors that, when developed fully, can slowly change the way you play. Now, we're referring to things such as finger stretch, finger strength, control, volume, tone, musicality, speed, and rhythm. So obviously all these elements make up your overall technique and you slowly develop them uh, over some time. Just think about it, when you started playing the guitar, you didn't know how to play and then, you know, you played a few chords and your finger strength became better, your finger stretch became better and then you started practicing a few scales and you developed speed and control and musicality. Now the exercise that I played at the beginning of the video can really develop basically all these elements. It's challenging, so I'm gonna show you a few steps to get there. So what I did is I was playing chords in the form of arpeggios. So I was spelling out the notes of the chords. So I had C major. So I will play the C, the E, the G and the E. Same thing with all the notes within the C major key. So the C major, the D minor, the E minor, and the F major. We then changed set of strings and we play the G major. The A minor, the B diminished, back to the C. So I'm gonna be uh, going super slowly. I'm gonna show you uh, things step by step. Now the very first step, you just wanna learn the first two notes for each chord. So for the C major, just play the root note and the third, fret three and two. And just play them individually. You don't wanna hold them both down. So three and two. The D minor is five and three. The E minor is seven and five. And then F major is eight and seven. The G major is five and four on the D and the G string. And then you have seven and five with the A minor. And the B diminished is nine and seven. And we finish with the C, 10 and nine. I am always going to be alternating with index and middle. Now in the next step, we're going to add the fifth. So far we only played the root note and the third. So let's just add the fifth. We're gonna play like this. For the C major, C, E, and G. We have three notes, root, third, and fifth. So, for the C major is three, two, five. The third and the fifth will be played on the same string. Uh, then we have D minor is five, three, seven. And then seven, five, nine. Notice that the minor shape is the same, just uh, playing in a different position. So it's three, sorry, five, three, seven for the D minor. 7, 5, 9 for the E minor, and then the F major is less stretchy. 8, 7, and 10. Same shape for the G major, 5, 4, 
and 7, just on a different set of strings. Then the A minor is 7, 5, 9, and the B diminished is 9, 7, and 10. And we're back to the C. 10, 9, 12. This is a pretty interesting exercise. Now, the way I'm plucking the strings here is index, middle, index, and then again with the index. So, index, middle, index, index, middle, index, index, middle, index, index, middle, index, and so on. Now this exercise alone is really really popular on the guitar and it's just a beautiful way to develop a lot of different elements. Finger strength, finger stretch, your plucking techniques or speed and control but also your tone and musicality. Make sure that you let this note ring out but at the same time you don't want to hold the fingers down. So you don't want to try to play like this. You don't want to do that, just play the single notes. Now in the last step we are going to play the whole thing. So we're going to have to play the chords like this. Root note, third, fifth, and third. Now we're going to break down the chords like this. We have two different positions. The first one with root note and third, and the second position with fifth and third. So. We're gonna use the left hand fingers like this. Two, one, three, and four. I'm referring to the fingers, not to the frets. So the middle finger, the index finger, the ring finger, and the little finger. I'm gonna do it slowly. Make sure that you don't hold the fingers down. Now the pattern will be this one. We're gonna have three, two, five, and then five on the B string, and then down on five, two, and then we start again. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. The second shape is the minor shape for the D minor and the E minor. We're gonna play five, three, seven, and six. This is quite stretchy, but remember, you don't wanna hold the fingers down. So you can reduce the stretch by just quickly moving to the next position. It's always three notes. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Then the E minor is the same, 7, 5, 9, 8. And then we have the F major, which has the same shape as the C, 8, 7, 10, 10. So when I play the whole thing uh, up to the F, have the G. So it's 5, 4, 7, 7, 7, 4, and 5. I'm always alternating with the right hand, so the right hand is pretty straightforward, just index middle. And the A minor. Now this is the most stretchy position. We have 7 with the root note, 5 with the minor 3rd, and 9 with the perfect 5th, and then back to the minor 3rd on the fret 8. And the diminished is 9, 7, 10, 10. And we finish with the C. 10, 9, 12, 12. Now the awesome thing is that once you have all these positions, you can then mix things up. 
So you can play the chord progression like this, for example, the C major, the F major, the D minor, the G major, the E minor, and the A minor. the G major and the B7 sorry the B diminished and then the C major now in the instrumental though I play the F major in this position so I will play C and then F which has the same shape as the G it's just played on fret 3, 2, 5, and 5. But I found this to be quite stretchy, so you can move this chord up here to make it less stretchy. I also finished the exercise with this melodic section, so starting from the chord C, I would just hold the last two notes of each chord. So C major, B7, sorry, B diminished, a minor, G major, F major, and E minor, D minor, and C major. This is definitely a beautiful exercise. I just love it. I don't practice these type of things a lot, but when I wanna kind of bring my technique back I definitely try to play this exercise for a while. You really want to take it step by step, guys. Start with the step number one with just two notes, then you add the fifth, and then you add the third, one octave higher, and then you put it all together. Enjoy this lesson and talk to you soon.